Hello and welcome to this video demo of Sales CRM in Google Sheet. What you see right now is the dashboard view of the Sales CRM. I'll quickly take you through different sheets that you have in the CRM. The first is the Lead Tracker. This is where you would be entering details of all new leads. So it's pretty simple. You have the lead date, company, the contact information of the lead, who in your team is going to take care of that new lead, the contact details. So you could delete the columns that you do not want. If you don't want so many phone numbers or you don't want the city and the state, you could remove that. Then you have the drop down sections, which come from the drop down sheet here. This is customizable. You can go ahead and change the options. I have some standard options for lead source from where you get the lead. So referral, email, telecalling, and so on. Lead status as hot, warm, and cold. Lead stage as database, contact established, need identified, proposal presented, negotiating, and then either you win or you lose the deal. Here you also have a description of each stage and then is your sales team. So you can customize the dropdown and that will reflect in the lead tracker. So here is after you enter the lead details, you select from the dropdown. So what's the lead source? If the lead is open, then what's the lead status? The stage of the lead, the deal value, and when the deal closes, the close date. So for deals that are open, the close date would be blank and you would have the lead status. So that calculates the average age of the lead. And then you have some extra columns uh, to write down next actions for open deals and deadlines for those actions. So this is good to use so that you can follow up on each open lead. This is the main sheet where you will enter all your sales leads. And that gives you reports in the dashboard column. So here you could see this is the sales CRM dashboard for the current year 2023. And you have performance right from uh, January up till July where I have entered the leads. So you could see the number of leads generated every month. I'll just go on and zoom it a little for you. So here you have the monthly performance. So seven leads in January, six in February, eight in March. How many were won? How many were lost? Conversion percentage for each month, the deal value and the one deal. So that gives you the monthly performance of each month, how you've been doing month on month, the conversion percentage. You could go ahead and or you could use conditional formatting if you want to assign certain colors if you are over number of a target conversion rate. And here you have the annual snapshot. So total number of leads 61, 25 leads one, 28 lost. Uh, the annual conversion is 41%. And it takes almost 51 days to close a deal as successful one deal. Uh, the revenue generated 2.9 million against a target of 4.8 million, hence an achievement of 61% so far. And the average deal value is 117,000. So these are critical metrics that you need to keep an eye on in order to improve your performance. And then you have subsequent reports in terms of where the leads are lying right now. So there's one lead open in the contact established stage uh, to a need identified. What's the deal value for those leads? The status of open deals. So as hot, warm, cold, you also have a pie chart here. Uh, you have a table here. And you also get to know what sources are doing well for you. So referral has given you seven leads so far. Uh, total deal value 700,000, one is 366,000, and it has a conversion percentage of 42%. So you can see which sources have better conversions and are giving you more deals. So where is that you need to focus in terms of effort and in terms of your marketing budget? So this is the main dashboard uh, where you get your monthly performance, your annual performance, and your stage and your source report. Uh, you also have a target sheet here. This is where you enter your target for every month. And then you see a monthly snapshot of target achievement. And it tells you, this is your monthly performance, how many new leads you need to generate in the subsequent months. You also have a team performance summary. So here you come and you select the name of the sales rep and you get the performance of the person. So this would be helpful in team reviews in comparing performances. Just go to the drop down and change 
the name and the performance will be updated in the tables below. And a very helpful sheet is the marketing sheet. This is where you need to enter the amount that you spend in your marketing campaigns. So you get your cost per lead and you get your cost per acquisition. And it tells you how many more leads you need to generate to meet your annual target. And given your average cost per lead, how much is that you need to spend? So right now, since we are in December, this is already the end of the year. It tells me that for this company, we are already behind the target and we need to generate 38 more leads at a spend of about 19,500 to be able to meet the target. So it only gives you the leads required for the months that are remaining. The months that are over, it won't give you because you can't go back in time to generate leads for months that are already gone by. So this is a very helpful sheet. You also get to plan your spend across different sources and see the CPL and CPA for each marketing source. So this gives you a complete hands-on tool to manage your sales leads, enter all the details, review the performance, and take actions to meet your targets for your sales revenue. So the download link for this dashboard is in the video description. Uh, go ahead and download it. It's a very small amount to pay a one-time a payment of $20 to get the Google Sheets sales CRM for your small business. So whether you run a small business, whether you manage a sales team, or you work as a freelancer or a solopreneur. So I have also left a link of a video demo on how to set up your Google Sheets sales CRM for the first time. For example, you need to enter your company name here. You need to go to the lead tracker, enter the currency here. You could go to the drop down section and customize the drop down options if you need to change what I've already mentioned. However, these are pretty standard, but if you want to make changes, you can go ahead and do that. And while doing that, if you have any questions, you can just go ahead and comment below or you could go to my website. The link is in the description. Fill up the contact form. Let me know your specific query and I will answer to it at the earliest. So go ahead, download it get ready for the new year and increase sales for your business. Thank you very much.